Yesterday I completed my BGS as well as got myself a Zami Hill and today I was planning on completing Sar Domin for an ACB and SGS because I along with many other players were under the impression that the last recall called was Dungeon Method was getting nerfed. However, Jags have since confirmed that this is not the case and that they are actually planning on improving the method by allowing us to go into our instance without having to reget KC. This means no more crashing each other. This means I'm also no longer in a rush to complete Goldwars Dungeon right away and can instead focus on climbing the ranks and getting on the top page for League Points. Okay, and that is a Kraken Tentacle 87 kill count. Now, I'm not going to attach it just yet, but when I do, that is 250 points. Okay, and that's the Haunted Mind done. I needed to get that done anyway for when I go to TOB, and that is 50 points from that. Oh, there we go. Achieve 100% Shades of Morton Sanctity. 50 points. Okay, and that is Shades of Morton done as well. That's not a task, but I just wanted to get it done regardless. Okay, and that is an easy Temple Trek done for 10 points. And that is a hard Temple Trek done. Very easy. 160 points from all of that. Okay, and that is a Taste of Hope done, which is 50 points. It gives me the Vandis Flail, the Dragon's Medallion, which I'll be using for TOB, and a Tome of Experience, which is just going to dump on crafting. Okay, and that is Van Strom Claws down. That was actually a hard quest. First time ever doing that quest ever. I've never done it on the main game. So I was a little bit concerned there, and it took me quite a while to do. But this will give me another 100 points, and it will give me some XP rewards. And that is another 100 points and the Sins of the Father completed. Okay, and that is 50 points for completing the Canifus Agility course. Okay, and that is 50 points for completing the Werewolf Agility course. Another 50 points there for defeating a Virewatch Sentinel, or however you say it. And I just got a Rattle Weed too. Okay, and that is pickpocketing a Vire 50 times, 100 points. I almost died. We are storming through the Mauritania points. We got 50 points from all these Agility courses, and then 100 points from Floor 3 for the hard one. Now if we trade this guy, buy one of these, it's another hard toss done, 100 points like that. We've flown up to 20,000 points and 490. We're going to keep going. Okay, and this should be another 50 points right here from catching a Swamp Lizard in Mauritania. Yes, it is. Okay, and this should be 50 points from crafting uh, Earth Rune with these Dale Essence. Yes, it is. Oh my god, 42. Okay, well, I just two-hit Varak. Okay, let's BGS Arms once. Oh my god, I think I might two-hit it. Nah, I think we'll hit it with a three-hit. We're Okay, now the four. The four. We're feeling quite generous today. We let him live for a little bit. And this is 50 points from opening a chest. Unfortunately, no item, but that's 50 points. Okay, Tarn's Diary. Salve Amulet. Wear this. 50 points. And that, my friends, is my first 25 mil of the league. This is why Endless Harvest is so good. Other people who would want to do this would have to drop all their fish or go bank them or something. But I can just sit here AFK every time I'm doing something. And that is 250 points right there, putting us up to 20,950. Okay, and this is 74 Hunter, which now means we can make birdhouses with magic logs, which should be another task right here if I'm not mistaken. Make myself a little, what's it called, magic birdhouse. Build that. Boom. Is that 100 points? Yes, it is. Very nice. That, does that put us up to 21k? It does. It puts us over 21k. Okay, I got the kill. <laughs> it wasn't clean, but we got it. 52 magic logs and 100 points. Jesus fucking Christ, I'll never do that again. Wait, that's 100 points for creating a Dragonstone Amulet. I didn't even know that. 100 points from nowhere. And this is going to be our third combat 99, 99 HP. Another 250 points right there, and we're working on defense. Shooting us up to 21,500. We're going to keep going. Very nice. Oh, I just got another whip. I can use my Kraken on it and make another 250 points. Oof. Equip an Abyssal Tentacle. Points earned. 250 points. And I just got a superior. So my plan of flying up points today was working pretty well. I was basically just maxing out every combat stat for 250 points while also making sure the Slayer Toss that I chose had other points from drops within them. For example, I came to Smoke Devils after getting my whip because Smoke Devils dropped a Cult Necklace, and a Cult Necklace is 250 points. Oh my god, I just got imbued heart, Johnny! I just got imbued heart! Yeah, seriously. I'm here actually looking for the Cult Necklace, but I just killed a Superior and I forgot my first imbued heart. I'm at 96 Slayer. I've killed loads of imbued monsters, so honestly I probably did go a little bit dry for it, but I, don't, I didn't need it right away, but it's actually a really great job to have. No points awarded for it somehow, not really sure why, but I'm not going to complain too much. An imbued heart is very, very nice to get. Damn, okay, I missed me getting 99 defense, but I just got it. I've been at Smoke Devils ever since, trying to get this Occult Necklace drop. Unfortunately, we're about two tasks dry. We're on our third task right now. However, we've been getting loads of GP and just like pure alcohols and everything, so it's going to make us a lot of money. I am going to stay here because I do need that Occult Necklace. It is 250 points, but 99 defense itself is another 250 points, putting me up to 22k. 97 Slayer, still no Occult Necklace. We might be here for a while. 
another Slayer Tusk here done. The drop rate of the cult is about 170 with all the boosts that I have, so we are going pretty unlucky on it. Okay, and that is another Elite Tusk done. Defeat 50 Superior Slayer Monsters. I didn't even know we were close to that. Still no Occult, however, but that is 22,250 points. We are chasing down that top page rank right now. Occult! I got it! I finally got it! Thank God, dude. I finally got the Occult Necklace. I've been here for like four or five tasks. I don't even know how many we've killed. Over 600, probably. Wield it. 250 points, just like that. That's an Elite Tusk done. And we're now at 22,500 22, points. Very, very nice. Another hard task going to be completed here, defeating an ancient wyvern. I could have done this ages ago. I just kind of forgot about it, but there we go. And we got some volcanic ash. Cool. Okay, and that is a hard stash unit constructed and filled, which is another 100 points on top of that wyvern we just got. We are now up to 22k 700 points from the wyvern and this stash unit. Okay, and this is going to be 150 points right here, 50 points from wearing the red dragon hide set, and 100 points from wearing the black dragon hide set. We used a mushroom pie boost, only got one left to do the black dragon hide set. Shooting up from 22,700 to 22,850. Okay, and this should be all the chaos runes I need to get myself an onyx from the Tazar place. Okay, and that is 260k Tarkle, let's go get this onyx. 260k Tarkle. Buy one uncut onyx, and that is another 250 points for purchasing an onyx in the Cesar place. So I'm going to be making this uncut onyx into a regen bracelet instead of an amulet of fury. And this may shock you guys, but I promise you there is good reasoning for it. For my account and for the relics I have, a regen bracelet is actually the best in slot, and I will tell you why. For my tier 3 relic fluid strikes, I get this effect of regening 4 HP per minute. If I stack this with rapid heal, that becomes 8 HP per minute. Now, if I wear a regen bracelet on top of this, I am healing 16 HP per minute. That's pretty much almost a shark every minute. It's going to be great for outlasting stuff. And just in general, it is best in slot for me. So let's go make this bracelet. That also just let me break the 23,000 point barrier. I'm now on 23,100. And that is an onyx bracelet made. Drink a quick wizard's mind bomb and cast enchant. And there we have it, our best in slot bracelet, the regen bracelet. Nice. Damn it, dude, there's an Obby Mall. We've already had one of those. Um, we could sell it for some points, but it just really isn't worth it. Okay, and this should be 98 Slayer. One more level until 99. Let's go. Okay, I just got an Obby Cape drop. That's amazing because it gives us 100 points because we haven't got it yet. That puts us up to 23,200. Let's keep going. I got another Obby Cape. Jeez. And with all the Obby drops we get, we can actually buy ourselves the final piece, which is the Obby Shield which gets us 100 points just like that, putting us up. I'm wearing that Obby Shield, just put us up to 23,300 points. All right, let's go. Dragon Plate Legs, that's another 100 points right there. We've killed many of these Wyverns and we've never got one, but now we have it. 23,400 points now. Granite Legs, bro. Granite Legs right after D Legs, back to back. 23,450 points. Okay, another Cerberus trip done. We're at 36 kill count. We are 300k away from 99 Slayer. This is all the loot we've got. Still no uh, crystal, but we're making hella money. Eternal Crystal 45k C man. Now the Eternal Crystal is pretty much useless for me as we don't have access to the desert Which means I can't get infinity boots, which means I can't even make the Eternals. Okay, and this should be my 99 Slayer Cerberus kill 65k C. Can I get prims with it? <laughs> An unholy symbol unfortunate, but that puts us up to 23,700 points. We'll come back to Cerberus because we do need prims eventually, but we're gonna leave it for now Very nice. We're climbing it and climbing with 23,700 points, I was a couple ranks away from the top page. Now I needed to get points, and I needed to get them quickly, and I needed a lot of them. Enter TOB. If I managed to complete a TOB without dying, I'd get two different tasks for 250 points, totaling to 500 points, and this itself would get me in the top 25. Let's go.
And that, ladies and gentlemen, was our first ever theater of blood on the Trailblazer League. Okay, let's see. Let's see what my what my points jump up to. Twenty four thousand two hundred. I think I. Oh my god, that's so nice. That is so nice. Holy fuck. And with that theater of blood completion putting me at twenty four thousand two hundred points, that puts me at rank twenty four on the leaderboards out of every single person playing Trailblazer League. Insane progress made today gaining thousands of points and climbing rank all the way to the top page. After that TOB, I did one more task and I actually got myself to rank 23. Guys, I've been putting in some insane hours for this, so if you guys have been enjoying the videos and want to keep continuing supporting me, please make sure you hit that like button as it really does help. As well, subscribe if you are new so you never miss a Trailblazer video from me. We got top page today and the plan is to maintain it and try and climb the leaderboard as much as possible right until the end of the league. 